Chilly mornings, hot afternoons and huge termite mounds. This is our first impression of Africa, the kingdom of wild animals and professional hunters. Welcome to the first hunt with Euro hunters in the heart of Namibian bush. We are greeted by a fresh Namibian morning, so I welcome you to the next episode of Euro Hunters program. We're going hunting. We're getting the equipment and we will meet our guide and see what the day brings. And today will bring lots of emotions. We're starting our first hunt in Africa. Everything we're about to see will be a surprise to us, so we're sure to enjoy every minute of it. Welcome to Euro Hunters, or rather, African Hunters, the second episode in our special series about the unforgettable safari on the Blaza farm in Namibia. After the first day at the shooting range and a small scouting of the area, it's time for a real test of our skills in the wild African bush. At the beginning, we're getting the equipment and then we'll meet in front of the main building. Apart from the hunters, we take with us a box of drinks, a spare wheel and a sniffer dog. We're ready. I've got a 300 Winchester Magnum, RWS ammunition and a Tice rifle scope. The car's waiting and so is the dog and the guide, of course. I hope he'll take us to the place where we meet the desired Oryx. A thick jacket, a hat, gloves and sunglasses are a must-have. Moreover, we also have caps, which we'll wear when the sun rises a little higher. Low temperatures in the morning and after the sunset are normal during African winters. And as it's the only time of the year when hunting in Namibia makes sense, it's important to bring warm clothes with you. But we'll talk about it later. We've left and we're driving a convertible truck. Our guide is sitting below, sheltered from the wind that's whipping our faces. It's really cold. We're bouncing on the bumps. Generally speaking, extreme driving. It's good I took this warm hat with me. We haven't traveled far when a springbok herd appeared. Before leaving the no-hunt area, professional hunter is checking the wind. This is so that we know which direction we will approach the place where our pH expects the game. The local antelope are extremely skittish, so we leave the car long before reaching the hunting spot. We've stopped because we've seen the first antelope, which we will hunt. We begin stalking. Let us begin. Przemek feels an adrenaline rush and our exceptionally calm leader, Olaf, checks the wing direction again. The wind has a double meaning here. Of course, game can smell a man, making it more vigilant or simply escape. But above all, in this desert climate, it is a perfect sound carrier that can come from under our feet. There's plenty of dry twigs and small, crunchy stones under our boots. However, there's another noisy element that dominates – antelope dried droppings. After a while, our guide spotted something among thick bushes. Although this time of year the trees are mostly leafless, 
Their dense branches often prevent effective identification of a target, and without that there's no way to shoot. This time we have to give up and try to get a little closer. Now we have to move very quietly. We walk in a single file to be less visible to the animals gathered right in front of us. The first antelope we've met and there's the first shot. I could see she got hit. Now we have to wait a little. 300 Winchester Magnum is doing well, but we will get a dog and then approach it. It was a 100 and 140 meter shot. Emotions on African soil. Emotions on African soil. It's time to get even deeper into the bush. The shot looked good, so we hope that we won't need to look far for the first African kill of Mr. Reporter. It was far away from the road, but as soon as we find the antelope, our assistant will go after it by car. But it's time to search the area. Our dog will come in handy. We go into the place where the new was standing when I pulled the trigger. We look which way it went and try to find it in the bush. The local hunters are extremely keen observers. They can perfectly read the trails. They give the dog a chance to demonstrate its skills, controlling its actions at the same time. So far, everything is going according to the plan. Long blood, light blood, so it looks like a bit shot, a bit high. Too high? Uh, not too, but uh, not okay. too. Okay. Olaf is a great hunter with years of experience, so we fully trust him. He's got one tiny flaw, which he mentioned before. He always takes the shortest route. Unfortunately, these conditions usually mean it's also the hardest one. Therefore, sunglasses or hats often fall to the ground. Fortunately, although the shot was a bit too high, it was very successful, and soon we found our prey. We found traces of blood that came to the new, which made around a dozen meters from the place where I shot it from. And in the back, there's my first African trophy. So African safari began very promising to our Mr. Reporter. This is not a dream oryx, but a wildebeest is also a very beautiful trophy. The antelope which we shot is not an old specimen, but our professional hunter decided that we could shoot it. It's about three years old. Here the hunter doesn't decide, just pulls the trigger. The shot was effective and that's what it's all about. Once we get the green light to fire, there's no time to hesitate. We do this effectively, so as to kill the animal as quickly as possible. Thank you very much. Das Bor. Das Bor. Thank you. It was to było bardzo szybkie polowanie. It was a very quick hunt. It's been just half an hour since we left. Udało się szybko dojść naszą zdobycz. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you very much. Our friend Andy is impressed with Premek's achievement. Now he will have the opportunity to hunt. But first, we need to prepare our antelope for a picture. It is important that the animal presents with dignity. Hunting is not a shooting game, but a serious occupation for responsible people. The first photo shoot in Africa is done. At the beginning, blue wildebeest. Fortunately, a successful hunt with a fast and safe shot. I encourage you to try. It's really worth it. Huge excitement. Z 
rozmawialiśmy z przewodnikiem o tym, jak. We talked to our guide about how to shoot in Africa. Some European hunters shoot at the neck. However, it's a dangerous shot because all the vital organs are located very low in the oryx body. And a high shot might not be an instant kill. We shoot at the so-called empty part. An oryx goes on. All animals in Africa are to be shot at the heart and lung area to stop them as quickly as possible. There's no time for stocking for too long. Besides, in the area where every single plant has thorns, it's not the nicest and safest thing to do. But for a local car, it's not a problem whatsoever. Driving through the wilderness full of thorny bushes and small trees is not a slightest problem for our truck. Of course, a big round of applause should go to the driver who, despite the lack of power stealing, smoothly drives the car, which is not that small after all. But local cars will be discussed further in the following episodes. Now we need to prepare our wildebeest for transport. Locals remove the animal's stomach, which is incredibly big. Stuffed with dry grass adds its weight to the hunted animal, but doesn't have any value for the hunter. It's getting warm enough to take off some clothes, as it will get very hot soon. I won't be needing this hat, only shades and a cap, and I definitely need to get rid of this too. Whether it can be nice at all in the African sun, we're about to find out in a while. As for now, it's still below 20 degrees, but as we'll be getting closer to the noon, the thermometer will show 30 or so. In these conditions, it's extremely difficult to find shade. One can cool down only while traveling by car. But as you know, the journey is not very comfortable, but it's no flaw of the hunt. On the contrary, we think it's good fun, and the game appearing every now and then adds more thrill. Like the largest among Namibian antelope, the Elland antelope. We're getting off the truck to walk a bit. We've seen antelopes, so maybe somewhere in the distance there's also oryx. This time Andy, who is in my team, will be shooting. I will only assist. But thanks to this, I get a chance to tell you what is happening and what things can be found in Namibia. But what Africa looks like through Przemek's eyes, and whether Andy will find his game quickly, you will find out in the next episode. See you next week in the Eurohunters program. Hunters program.